And the Independent National Electoral Commission has educated traditional rulers in the Gwagwalada area of Abuja on Sunday on their voting rights ahead of the 2023 general elections. While speaking to the community heads, INEC Electoral Officer Caleb Abutu addressed the process of getting permanent voters' cards and other electoral matters. Benedict Uku covers the story. The traditional rulers in the Guagualada Area Council of Abuja were on Sunday educated by the Independent National Electoral Commission on different electoral matters of import ahead of the 2023 elections. The event, which was facilitated by Initiative for a Better and Brighter Nigeria, saw issues of voter card registration, transfer, and discerning of fake news in the election cycle take top bill. INEC Electoral Officer Caleb Abuchu gave the rulers who were charged to carry on the message the means to access the veracity of various candidacies. In the community, you can't just come from nowhere uh, and then just say, look, I want to buy for this position. When you've not done anything, communal efforts should be there. Meanwhile, it's very important we um, do what we can for social media to get to our various areas. The issue of insecurity now won't even allow people to go to these areas. But if through social media we can send all the taxi drivers that we can write and send and they know how to send it to, the, to those villages, it will really help us. The organizers of the event called on voters to exercise their voting rights and avoid vote selling. We have been educating our officers. Um, it's one of their aims and objectives of going to rural areas and going to communities, enlightening them, mobilizing them, mobilizing them, to make sure that people who registered comes out to vote. And also, we know the issue of security. We have also working with the security agencies to protect um, voters. One of the things we have encouraged Nigerians as people to do is to stand out all at once. All peace persons out. And together, we will make sure that our vote counts. We, we vote. And we stand to see that our vote is counted and it counts for. Number one, he highlighted the, the, the importance of reg registering. Number two, those that have relocated, that they don't know how they can get the PVC. He has told them the way to go by. Or you lost your PVC or it's been destroyed. The electoral officer has lectured people on how to get their PVC back. I feel strongly that the regions that has not produced presidents should be given the opportunity because those that have been running it we have seen how they have run it so let us to me let us try other people that have not done it and compare so every region should be given opportunity to test the power not one region or two regions dominating the whole country some traditional rulers spoke to captain tv about their commitment to their followers following the training my, com my, my, my com community, I will call them. Please, if anybody come to your, pl your present and deceive you with 2,000 naira, don't call it that 2,000 naira. Tell him he should go. You are not interested of his 2,000 naira. Uh, thank you. Because when you collect his 2,000 naira, he will thought maybe he has buying you. So to me, I will raise the campaign down to my world, to my community, I would tell them that please, we should stand up and embrace Nigeria with one heart and unity. The correct issue in Nigeria is that we pray for the leader to solve, to stop violence, killing of innocents, and achieve in the country. As 2023 approaches, more prospective voters are encouraged to participate in the process.